Good morning, everybody. It is moving day. I cannot believe this day has come. I feel like it's been like a long time coming because I was pushing it off for like a month, another month, another month while I was working on the house. I just wanted to give myself ample time. I was also doing a couple of other projects simultaneously. So wanted to make sure everything was like pretty, you know, well off by the time that we moved and it wasn't like a super stressful occasion. And the moving company is on the way right now. Now, the great thing is, is that we actually aren't bringing over too much furniture. I did sell off some of the pieces that I had that were more like for the apartment, you know, pieces that I knew I didn't want to transition into the home, smaller pieces um, and just pieces I've had for a long time that I just you know wanted to freshen up and get a new item for so all in all there really isn't like that much they're taking um, it's my bedroom which I need to pack all my bedding right now and then in terms of furniture it's really like the coffee table dining table this bookcase that I created because that's not going anywhere. And then the coffee nook table. The people that are renting out the apartment after us actually wanted everything in Marie's room. So we ended up selling that to them, which was nice because now the room's gonna stay the same, which is really cool. Waiting for the movers to come. I'm going to start packing up all of my bedding and just my bathroom, get some of my clothes out of the closet and all that sort of stuff. Marie, it's the day to move. Moving day. <laughs> we have everything ready to go on this side of the house. Now, the kind of nice thing is we're not moving too far. Still in the same neighborhood. All right, guys, this is a challenging piece. The table. It's 900 pounds, but they said they could do it. Worst comes to worst, they said they'll just chop it in half and bring it in two parts. And I said... We can't do that, I'm sorry. Always wanted a window with vines and I just noticed on November day that Marie's window has grown so many vines. I swear it's because of all the rain in LA. How pretty. Have a bunch of items clearing out. Now some items are staying. These rugs were actually currently listing on Facebook Marketplace or I'm actually gonna be keeping this one and then I think this one we have listed. And over here, these boxes are leaving right now. Table's still here. And then we're gonna bring like these in our car, you know, like just like kitchen boxes, random stuff. phone camera i left the vlog camera over at the house i did a little trip but you guys my room it's clearing out um all my clothes are in the wardrobe boxes just have a lovely weight which i think i'm leaving because i've never used it <laughs> um and my room is looking like this uh, but we are making great progress well, going down he says it's not an issue he said i have taken a baby grand piano up three flights of stairs so, you know what? Oh, it's sliding, it's sliding. Honestly, so much smarter to just slide it down like that because the people that brought it in, you guys, they were struggling. Breakfast nook is empty. Uh, I just love this color of blue. I might have to, you know, maybe use it somewhere in the house. I'm not sure. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. And every morning waking up to this color in the breakfast nook was so nice. It is so cleared out in here. Of course, we're going to come back and clean. And these are a couple items that we have some friends taking. Um, but everything's pretty much moved out. I mean, the breakfast nook, kitchen. Um, here's laundry area. Marie's room. This is what's staying for the new tenants. They wanted to keep the bed in the rug. Oh my gosh, they're bringing the table in. The table's going in. Wow. That is professional lifting. <laughs> Guys, we got it in. Or they did. I didn't. I supervised. Starting the move into the house and my first item in my bedroom is of course a little olive atelier pot. I needed to add her. I've been waiting for this pot to be in here. It's probably not going there, but we will see once more items arrive. The movers are on their way. Oh my gosh, feels so weird to actually be in here. Um, so I'm gonna head down and see if I can find them. They got the thousand pound table into the dining room and I don't know why it looks so small in this dining room. Like look how small the section it takes up in our previous dining room. I swore it took up the entire dining room. I'm going to unwrap it right now.
The table is looking incredible. I love the scale of it in this space. It's like substantial, but it still feels kind of on the smaller side. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's a large, large table. The dining room is just on the larger side, so you know what? I love it. Brought up my rug. Do you guys remember this rug? I kept it because this was the rug that I found at Home Goods. That was the vintage one. It's still the most beautiful vintage rug ever. Like, could you believe I found this at Home Goods? The colors in it are unreal. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, it might stay, to be completely honest. It is beautiful in here with the floor. I'm back in the closet. I honestly always love getting a new closet to put clothes in whenever I move. It's fun to, like, just see your clothes in a new space. I don't know. It always re-inspires me to wear them. I think I realized that I'm going to need to get some coordinating hanger or at least drop these random black ones and switch all to white. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we, <laughs> we are officially moved in to the house and I'm in my room at the moment. I have yet to unpack. All I've done is just put my clothes in the closet and I actually ended up bringing the vanity piece that I found. I think I bought this like maybe four months ago, three, four months ago on the channel. This is actually going in my bathroom, but I didn't end up bringing my dresser over. We're going to be selling that piece just because it's a Parisian style. It doesn't really match the Spanish style of this home. And I figured for the time being, I will use the storage on this as my makeshift dresser. Um, it's going in the bathroom anyways. So I might as well just store it in my room. It also looks really, really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. And I think that's where I'm going to end today, but we are going to be doing so much tomorrow, you guys. I just have got to like take a moment, you know? Like we've been moving for the past, I think like 10 hours or so. I'm just gonna unpack, order some food, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning and share with you guys how everything looks in the daylight. my first day at the new house. I stayed last night and I will tell you, when you own a home, the sleep that you get on the first night of knowing you own a house is just, it's just really nice. I know that sounds so weird, but really like the vibes last night were just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm sleeping in this house that I purchased, which is so crazy. And we're making it over here on the channel. And of course, a lot more of that is going to be coming up. But I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a look at the house at the moment. Justin actually came over this morning because we're doing some kitchen touch-ups. I know I probably should be unpacking a little bit more. Like everything is still in boxes. I tried to unpack a good majority of my room last night just to kind of get myself situated today. But everything from my like lone fox room, all of our decor, absolutely everything is still boxed up in the spaces. So let me share with you guys a little mini tour of what the house is looking like so far. So when you walk in my room, this is what it is looking like. Now, of course, the insane chandelier is still there, which is going to be replaced at some point. It's just not the exact style I'm going for. It's a beautiful chandelier, do not get me wrong. And then right over here is my bed area, of course. Looks very similar to my previous room, and that is because, I mean, it was in the previous room about a day ago. And then I actually brought, if you guys remember, this is a $15 DIY bench that I created on the channel a while back. It is such a quick and easy build. If you're looking for a bench, totally make this. I will link the tutorial for you guys. It costs $15 and it's really cute. I actually put it at the end of my bed. I've always wanted a bench there. Put my chair over there and then right over here, I just ended up putting, actually, if you guys remember this buffet that I got at the uh, thrift store, not flea market. It was $199 and I'm using this as a vanity in my bathroom when I get to making that space over. But it's just been sitting in the hallway for the past couple weeks. So I figured I'd use it as my kind a makeshift dresser currently and that is kind of my room i also realized how large a lot of these rooms actually are like my room marie's room these rooms are substantially bigger than our previous ones and i really thought before i had a large room like i've always thought i had a large room before but this one is like 
extra large. Then right over here is my little kind of, I guess a get ready station, if you will. I'm putting like my perfumes and um, jewelry and hats and things that I wear. And then over here is my bathroom, which is currently quite a mess. I'm not gonna lie, I need to get in there and start <laughs> organizing that space. Working out into the hallway, the guest room back here, we just have like some random bits in there at the moment. And here's Justin, he's doing some touch-ups on the cabinetry, we were working on that before. And Marie's room, oh my gosh, you guys look. This is what Marie's room is looking like. It is just crazy how much bigger of a room this is than her previous room, but you would really never I don't know, like being in the spaces without furniture in them, I kind of just felt like they were very similar, but I do believe they're a bit larger and I love this little kind of pop out bay window back here. I think it's such a cute little feature. And of course, we lastly have the living room, which is looking something like this. We have some boxes to unpack over here, brought over the coffee table from the apartment. And then these are the only places we have for sitting at the moment are these chairs. And I was kind of testing out if I was to reupholster, not with this particular rug, but if I was to reupholster with like more of a wool type fabric what that would look like but I don't think I'm gonna go that direction and then just some random kind of accessories over here stuff that needs unpacked here and then more stuff inside here So if you've noticed, all of the recessed lights throughout the kitchen are still dangling. We need to put them back up in the ceiling. However, I did try out a plaster version, which is right here, um, right about there. And I just do not love it. I don't know, it's just not as smooth and as pretty as a plaster. So we actually ended up just paint matching the plaster color. I brought a swatch of the plaster and they matched a paint to it. And I just got a matte paint, uh, Benjamin Moore, and it looks like that. So I'm gonna go through and paint all of the lights Currently, the plastic is just too blue-toned. I'll share what it looks like on the screen and I'll also pop up what the plaster one looks like. It's just not my favorite. So I wanna go through and just paint them all and then we can put them in the ceiling. to continue on with some kitchen touch-ups. We're also gonna be doing the outlet covers today, some door trim. I'm actually gonna be trimming one of the doorways that leads into the hallway from the kitchen in that same trim. We have some mullions or muntins. A lot of you guys have actually emailed me and said that what I'm actually putting in the windows are called muntins. However, on Etsy, they're just called mullions. That's why I call them that. But they're essentially these. I got those um, diamond-shaped panes, if you guys remember, for the windows. So these are going to be spray painted with that matte coffee bean color. And then I'm gonna paint the opposite side with some white paint so that the white is on the outside. These are gonna be popped in the window and then cabinet touch-ups. So you guys saw that we did this really pretty flower trim underneath all of the toe kicks of the cabinetry, but something else I wanna do with it because we have a couple extra pieces is actually frame this door in it because there's so many arches throughout the kitchen already. I didn't wanna arch everything. And I figured this is a great area I can add a bit more of this trim that's actually at eye level because it is kind of hidden under the cabinets. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this out. I'm just going to start firstly by using a razor blade to kind of razor down here. And then we're actually just going to paint all of this brown to blend in with the cabinetry because this is going to be way too hard to like get this trim in there nicely. So we're going to just paint that, add the trim essentially here, and then add the trim all the way down here and then paint the inside brown as well to make it look nice and clean. Well, that was easy. <laughs> also guys, just so you know, this door trim is not original. They redid like all the doors in this kitchen um, and retrimmed them, so we're getting rid of this.
A lot of you guys have questioned where this cabinet door has been and it has been fixed. We finally fixed it, glued it back together and then repainted the front, but I ended up dropping it when installing it. So we are going to finally be able to put that back up. And then the handle for that is I think somewhere in this drawer. We actually realized today that the kitchen is pretty much done. Like we're doing the final little touch-ups, the final additions, adding on that broken cabinet door that you guys saw. And all of like the hard finishes or like, you know, painting, cabinet color, flooring is all complete. So tomorrow I wanna do the styling, which I haven't got around to doing yet. I've just been kind of placing random things in the kitchen here and there. But now that I finally am in the space, I've only been living there for about 24 hours at the moment. So we thought heading to the antique center would be fun just to see if there's any last minute little additions, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Just arrived. how great this structured leather chair is. Oh wow, it's actually really not that bad, $3.95? I thought it would be quite a bit more. Look at this chain made of bottle caps. Oh, I love this little frame here. I love this plant stand as well. I think it's like either leather or, oh, it's wood, I think. Oh, it's all rattan. Stopping in Pasadena Antique oh, Mall okay. I was gonna say to that. see if there's any more items. I just found a Frank Lloyd Wright lamp and this was kind of the inspo of my last one that I found, but the last one I got for way cheaper than a thousand and that's the sale price. So, I mean, I'm very happy with my purchase. Is this I'm back at one of my favorite places to shop for rugs. This store is on La Brea. It's so good, you guys. Had no luck in that rug store, so I'm gonna go to one up the street. It's actually the rug store that I got, the little square one that was in my old breakfast nook in the blue one. So I'm thinking they might have something. 50% off handmade rugs. I'll give you tax free everything because you're my old customer. <laughs> This is the last one on this one. So that rug store actually was packing everything up to go to a convention, so we found another. Let's see if they have anything. But it's 30 to 50% off everything in store, which we love. This one's really pretty on the wall. Hmm. They have some options for us to look at. Okay, I actually found two that I quite like. These two here, they're vintage, but they're a great size for the kitchen. And I'm looking for one larger one for kind of the main area where the oven and the sink is. Love the darkness and depth in this one, but I also love the little bit of color and how this one kind of has a distressing to it as well. Look bigger. at this tapestry and this one. They're from France. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're literally like scavenging around up here for items. Oh, so Japanese jars. Pretty work when the blinds pull down I love it when nobody's around I wanna call out my town But you bite my lip, don't make a sound Nice and clean I'll be down if I'm leaving without you I'm standing in front of the coffee bar and something that I have been waiting to add to this area, which just kind of finishes off and gives it a really complete look, are these one by two pieces of wood. Now, as you can see, the shelves are actually just three quarters of an inch thick and they're just like a traditional shelf. You can move these around. Um, you can't anymore because I ended up adding the marble in the backside. But what I'm gonna do is actually add a little front base on all of these shelves 
So that way they look the same width as um, the rest of this built-in. So it looks more custom. And then of course these white sections are gonna be painted brown to blend in with the rest. Now this is about one and a half inches wide. So it is a bit wider than the three quarter inch shelf, but you're just gonna want the excess to be on the bottom. And that way you can always slide things onto the shelf. And the only thing is there's gonna be a small lip here, but it's not gonna matter. And then, as you can see, it's just a little bit wider, and then once this is painted, like the rest, it's really gonna blend in and look seamless. Lake, or if you smell gas, press one. The nature of your emergency? Um, so we were hooking up an oven and a stove, and now we can smell gas, even though we shut it off. The gas is leaking yeah, in the kitchen. Do I hear it? Is that what he says? Hey, you, hear gas you know how there's a little handle to, to pivot it on and off, like turn the gas on and off? So it's almost like we, we turned it on and then we noticed that there was like a smell of gas. So then we unhooked it and then we hooked it up again. But when we turned it off, there's like gas escaping from the handle, if that makes sense. Like it's almost like the handle, it's not even like the connector, like the connector point where it's hooked up to the tube. It's like escaping from the handle. Don't let it match. Someone will be here in four hours to help us turn the gas off. Care of it? Um, yes, please. Well, here's the thing. If, First, we gotta take it out to see if we can even put anything here. Yeah. But I have to shut off the gas for the time being. 